Hi folks, my name is Amy and this is my channel Muddy Boots Maker where you'll find everything that I make and all the stuff that's happening on our homestead here in central Victoria on Jar Jar Warung country in Australia and today we're doing a knitting update. So I have been popping up videos every Friday and these videos have had content from all over our property here. Um, a lot of it has been garden content recently, but once a month I like to pop on here and update my knitting podcast with everything that I have been making. Um, including some sewn items too and I have some items to show you that I have for sale. The business that I run makes predominantly handkerchiefs. We sell a lot of handkerchiefs all over Australia so we sell them wholesale to shops around Australia but we also sell them online and I sell them to everywhere around the world on my online shop and you can find the link down below. But I have some new product and I am really excited because this product introduces the garden into my business. So I'm very excited about that. But we are going to go on to the knitting straight away. First things first, I just wanted to tell you what I am wearing. So I am wearing the branches and buds pullover. So I have negated the buds. I've just done the colour work and I haven't popped the little colourful buds um, that the pattern calls for. I absolutely love this sweater. I wear it all the time. It is a great in-between seasons um, sweater as well. We are in the tail we we are in winter at the moment down in Australia here and it has there have been some sunny days this week it's been very lovely but today and yesterday it was so cold and today it's raining a lot the sun has actually just poked its head out right now which is very nice but I have been wearing very woolly um, sweaters this one's not so woolly but um, inside the house it's been fine. I do have to wear other layers underneath, uh, maybe a couple of shawls to keep myself warm because the neck, the, the neck is a bow neck um, design so it doesn't really cover your um, neck and chest as much as you want to in the winter. And I made this sweater out of Bendigo Woolen Mills Classic 5 Ply yarn and this is the fourth or fifth winter I've been wearing this sweater. I am now starting to see quite a bit of wear under the arms. There's no holes yet, but I'm very tempted to go and do some duplicate stitching under there just to make sure it doesn't come apart. It's wearing very, very thin, so, um, but it's amazing how long this yarn has put up with being chucked in the washing machine over and over again, being worn at least 60 times um, within um, the winter season. Yeah, so it has put up with a lot <laughs> and it has lasted, which is great. And I like to have some sweaters in this um, yarn that can just be thrown about, tossed around, worn outside in the garden and I don't have to worry too much. It's affordable and it just works so very well for a life here on our little farm. I am also wearing the Hoarfrost shawl. I love this shawl and I have, oh it's inside out. 
let me put it the right way okay the chickens are broking out there we're getting like nine to 13 eggs a day at the moment if you have any suggestions on using up eggs I have been doing I haven't done any frittatas recently but I could do some frittatas that would be good I've been doing loads of eggs in fried rice I've been doing um, scrambled eggs and quiches yeah I'm trying to think of other things I can do other than baking like I don't bake a lot um, so we've been boiling eggs. Hazel's really been enjoying a boiled egg. Like she'll just sit there and eat a whole boiled egg without anything, just an egg. Anyhow, this is the whole frost shawl and I just love to drape it around myself. I also like to pin it the ends behind so it stays in place. I've got this um, shawl pin that if you saw my a uh, vid few videos ago um, on my haul from the Bendigo sheep show, sheep and wool show, I um, purchased this there for $5. It's amazing. It's so beautiful. And I've been putting, I've been wearing, um, I've been weaving this through when I've been wearing this shawl a lot. But today I'm just draping it around so I have a warm back in this cold studio of mine. I am in my studio, by the way. Um, it is quite messy in here because it is a creative space and our creative spaces get messy. That's what I keep telling myself anyway. Um, and I've been making a lot of product, so things are everywhere. I'm getting ready for, dare I say it, Christmas. <laughs> Christmas stock. I need to stock up for Christmas. So I'm also wearing, it's called the El Fonny Beret hat. Anyway, I will, um, I will put links to everything that I talk about in the description below. And I will also try and put the name of what I'm talking about on the screen as well. But I love this beret beanie hat. I love how it just sits on my head and it's so easy to wear. It was a free pattern on Ravelry. I believe it's not available anymore. I've had a few people um, comment or send me messages about this pattern because I've talked about it a lot. And if you want, because it was a free pattern, I feel like I, I could send it to you if you would like this pattern to um, make it because it was free and anyone could download it so um i'm sure that <laughs> there's no problem with that um yeah so just let me know if you would like to knit this as well i've knit two and i i really like it my daughter has the other one now on to finished objects <laughs> uh I have not had a huge amount of time for knitting the past few weeks. I really do get huge chunks of time to knit and it's mainly because I just can't, I'm not one that can sit still a lot. Like I need to be active, be doing things, be moving my body for most of the day and then in the evening I can sit and rest and knit away. So I don't knit during the day very much. Um, I'm outside a lot these days. Also just doing a whole heap of cleaning in the house um, and the day-to-day. -day. Like doing the day-to-day -day chores can just take away the whole entire daylight hours of the day and then you're left with a clean house but you're wondering what on earth you've done all day. <laughs> Um, anyhow, I have managed to cast on and cast off a project and I'm very excited about this one. I actually like this more than the cardigan version and I'm tempted to, I don't know, I don't know if I'll undo the cardigan because I really do like having cardigans, but I like the drape of the pullover. I am talking about the Felix pullover. 
and the Felix cardigan. Um, this one is a pullover. This is the lovely alpaca yarn that I have used. I will pop the farm name on the screen. It's a lov lovely friend of mine, Rita. Her beautiful alpacas um, and beautiful animal husbandry leads to this gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. And you can't really see this very much. I mean, it's just so, it's such a lovely dark brown yarn. I'll put some video footage of me wearing this sweater. I haven't even blocked the sweater. I just found that it fitted me so well and nice. Um, I will get around to blocking it when I wash it for the first time, but I have just been wearing it and I absolutely love it. I've also made a beanie in Rita's yarn and it, it is just so, um, it just has so much like plumage, like, and, and it just, the drape and the softness. I mean, alpaca yarn is just amazing, but this, this yarn, oh, it's delicious. So nice. So that is my one and only finished project. So I believe I have still got around five projects on the go. I have a pair of socks, two at a time socks, um, that I am knitting and I just go to them every now and then. So um, they're just sort of on the back burner and I pull them out occasionally, but I'm not really working on them. And I have a dress that I am slowly working on. I didn't work on it this month. Um, no. <laughs> if you've watched previous um, videos, and I highly recommend for you to go back and I talk about this dress, I am on the chart and there are 720 stitches on the bottom. So it's a bottom up. You knit the skirt bottom up and yeah it's 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 called the house dressing dress so um i will link it below and you can go and have a look but i don't have much to show no progress on that so i won't show it i also have my second birkin sweater um and i have worked on that a little bit i've now worked through to all the colors so I'm just repeating this part again down here and then I will be done with the color work and I will move on to just knit, knit, knitting the body. And this yarn that I'm using, so delicious. I'm using the British Breeds Mari Wallen British Beads breed <laughs> beads hmm. British breeds yarn and it just smells so nice and sheepy and I absolutely I'm in love with these colors oh my goodness look at that it's just so so very pretty Isn't it just so pretty? Look at it. <laughs> just so pretty. That's going to be my thumbnail. I altered a few things on my, so that's the back. This is the front. So I sort of took out some rows here of the plane and maybe up here. I definitely started the color work earlier and earlier on this one as well as the first one. I just didn't want the yoke to be too long. Um, I, it, they just don't fit well on me and I don't want that whole bunching up happening when I raise my arms. So I've done the same here and it's looking to be working out the same length as my first Birkin. So I'm really, really happy with this one. I'm really enjoying the color work. I don't want it to go too fast. So I haven't been knitting on this one as much. I just pick it up when I really, really want to work on some color work. 
um, but, but but most of the time I've been needing something really simple to knit and the Felix pullover was really simple in the round just knit 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 um, and so oops I've just dropped some stitches let's put them back on <laughs> don't want that to happen so I um as well as my son Samuel really needing a, a jumper because he doesn't have any that fit him, I have cast on another project so that I have that in the round knitting for the moment anyway. I have something to knit during family movie night and I don't have got something to knit when I can't focus on a chart or anything complicated. So, um, so I'm slowly working on this one and um, just loving the colors the colors all those colors together just really make me happy and I will really look forward to wearing it the Sun is beating down now it is beautiful and <clears throat> my kids are just coming back from collecting eggs I can see them walking through my veggie garden and I have extended my veggie garden it's very exciting okay the second project I've been working on is Samuel's jumper and he um, he really liked the Guston um, pattern. Okay, so it is Guston. It is by Anne Budd, but it is a, a Brooklyn tweed uh, pattern. And I will pop a picture of it on the screen and my son has chosen this color. Um, I can't remember the color, but it is Bendigo Wooler Mills Luxury 10 Ply. Um, it is not a color I would pick personally. It's a beautiful blue. Um, I was kind of trying to hint to another color. Um, but he's going to wear it. He want, he's going to want, he's going to have to want to wear it. So, um, we just, we just went with the color and I'm also going to knit him a second one in a, um, like a charcoal-y color. And I am just working on the body at the moment. So it is bottom up. If you know me well, you know that I don't really knit bottom up patterns, um, but but this one it has uh, it has this uh, sort of cable pattern at the top and it opens up um, as you'll see in the picture that I've popped up on the screen. So um, yeah, I guess it needs needs to be knitted this way really. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting to the cable part, but at the moment I'm enjoying having something that I can just knit, knit, knit and not have to look at and just knit and watch a movie on Friday nights with my family. Yeah, watch some YouTube. It's good. I've been watching a lot of, um, gardening and flower farming, uh, YouTube channels at the moment. I'm getting very excited about my garden, about veggie garden, but also my little flower patch that I have that I sort of really only started last year. So I'm very excited um, and I've been watching a lot of um, what's going on on the other side of the world because there, you know, you're in summer over there and it's full flower season. So I've been watching a lot of what's happening over there and thinking, oh yes, I want to grow that and I want to grow this. <laughs> it's been lots of fun. So that's really all from me at the moment with knitting. I haven't been working on any of my other small projects. Next month when I do this little knitting podcast update, I really need to um, find my list of projects and make sure I'm all up to date and have around those five projects. As you'll know, if you go all the way back at the beginning of these videos of um, my making 
I think it was almost, it's almost a year ago now. It's two months shy of a year ago. Um, so I challenged myself to get my whips down. So I had around 22 projects or something like that. Oh my goodness. I frogged a few. I finished a whole bunch. And now I'm around about the five, six projects. And I like that number. That number is a good number. It's a number where I can have a you know, I can have a set of socks on the go. And if I feel like knitting on socks, I'll knit on socks. It, I can have a few sweaters at different tie, you know, different um, stages. So I love having a bit of color work so I can knit on something that I can really think about. Um, I've got my dream project on the go, which is that dress. And I will try and, I try and work on it because I really want to wear it next winter. It's going to be so much fun to have that in my wardrobe. Anyway, it's good to have a few projects on the go so you have something for any occasion or um, mood as well. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy that I've gotten down to that number and I intend to stay at that round five projects at a time. Um, so now I will move on to just showing you a few of the pouches that I have made so these are um, garden belts or anything really uh, my kids use them in out when they're outside but they use them with games um, and they put all sorts of things in them you could you know wear one at a festival or uh, and pop all your um, all that you require to, you know in there you can wear them when you're wearing an outfit that doesn't have any pockets and it's kind of what I intended them for at the beginning um, was just to have a little pouch so that when I'm wearing um, a skirt that I have that I absolutely love has no pockets and I'm always like oh, I wish I had pockets and I can't really sew pockets into it because of the design of the skirt so having something like this has been amazing to just be able to have this in the garden or when you go out just briefly or when you're going to a party or as I said a festival um, you're going to the market they've all got two pockets so a front one, a little bit shallower than the second one, which is a bit deeper and also it um, comes in a bit more at the top. So it's not as gaping as the bottom one. So if you wanted to put something that um, is more valuable in here, you can put it in this one and it won't pop out. Not that I think it would pop out with in, in the front one, but it's just a bit more secure in the back. Here's the back of it and the straps that I've done I've made these straps super super long for every curvy body they are over two meters long so the whole thing is over two meters long and that just means that it can wrap around twice or wrap around once and you can do a nice bow at the back um, please let me know what you think of these i'm really happy with them i call them my garden pouches um your little utility belt um but yeah you could use them as i said you could use them for almost any occasion put your seeds in here and your little pencil and um <laughs> icy pole sticks to write down the the seed name or um, yeah, so you could use them for, for your garden and I think that's what I intend to use one of mine for mostly is in my garden. So I've got two of these ones and then this one is, some of these will never be repeated. Some of these like this one, the fabric has been discontinued so I will only be able to make another I think another four of these and then I won't have any more of this fabric left um, same goes with these two this is a beautiful fabric that was discontinued years ago and I've just got a little bit left over and I just love it in this 
I've been waiting and waiting for the right project or the right product to make. I used to make hankies out of this fabric and now I'm so excited to have uh, um, some of these pouches and I just think they look so fantastic. They've both got a different blue on the back. Yeah, and again, they've got the very long, 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 long t uh, ties. Uh, this green one is a very unique one and never to be seen again because this is the only fabric I had. It's actually an old uh, placemat or doily of some description. Well, it looked more like a placemat. But um, yeah, I only had one. So I have popped these beautiful painted leaves on this one and it is a unique, a unique pouch. I've also made some 18th century styled pockets. So these ones are just one pocket that you pop your, whoop, pop your hand through there and they are made from an old tablecloth that uh, had stains all over it. So I've used parts um, of the embroidery where there were no stains, luckily, and been able to reuse them in these. So they will be up right now if, um, and I'll have more. I've cut out a whole heap more to make. I'm going to make some more children's sort of fabric ones. But they are intended for a person of any age. So I will put a little bit of footage of one of my daughters wearing these beautiful little pouches, pockets, pocket belts. I don't know. I call them all sorts of things and um, I'm going to go and have a nice cup of tea and a little bit of focaccia that I just made before I sat down here to film today. I hope you have a beautiful week and I will be back next Friday with another video. I'm hoping to do some natural dyeing soon but I will probably end up in the garden a little bit too next week uh, and so it'll probably be a bit of a vlog uh, video next week but who knows who knows I, I really enjoy the fact that I think during the week I'm like what am I going to video this week and I try to mix up the videos I like the content of the garden a little bit of um, cooking and day-to-day -day sort of life vlog um, a little bit of mending and of course these knitting podcast episodes that is it for me today and I will see you next week bye Thank you so much for watching <laughs> next month <laughs> <laughs> next month 